we're going to be tying one of my favorite caddis larvae. To start, secure some black thread to your hook shank and snap the excess free. And grab some white ostrich hurl. Grab a small clump of three and secure it to the back of your fly. Securing tightly up the hook shank until you reach your hook point. At which point, snap the excess free and trim your tail to length. We'll then grab some fine mono, but you can always grab some fluoro tippet. Secure that to the hook shank, wrapping towards the tail. Returning your thread to the hook point once complete. And grab some thin skin. Here I'm using clear. Cut your thin skin into a wedge and secure it to the top of the fly, wrapping back towards the tail. Once complete, grab some olive dubbing, create a dubbing noodle, and begin wrapping it forward in closed touching spirals, stopping once we reach the hook point. And brush it out to give it a nice, buggy look. Next up, we'll grab a turkey tail and pluck out a single fiber. You can see that it leaves us with a nice leg-like appearance. Measure this to be about the size of our dubbing and secure it to one side of your fly. Snip the excess free and repeat this process to the other side. We'll then grab some black hairs ear dubbing, create a dubbing noodle and wrap this in front of our legs. Once complete, we'll brush it out once again to give it a nice, buggy look. We'll then grab another turkey leg and secure it to the side of the fly, this time making it a little bit longer than the previous leg, and snip the excess free. Add some more hairs ear dubbing and repeat this step one more time. Snip your excess free and finish it off with a little more dubbing. And of course, brush it out to give it that nice buggy look. Fold your thin skin over and secure it to the head of the fly. Once complete, snip your excess free, grab your mono wire and begin wrapping this forward in open spirals, taking care not to trap any legs in the process. Continue wrapping the mono thread forward until you reach the hook eye, at which point we'll secure, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free. Use a whip finisher to build up a small head and paint it over with some UV resin. And this is an extremely buggy caddis larvae. If you don't tie and would like to try this fly, we just restocked it on my website. You can pick it up in this variation or in an alternative tan. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.